You know what it is? What's going on, everybody? What's that here back with another video? She creeping all of my brows, I ain't got a moon type of shit. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, today's video is we're not doing none of the party stuff, none of the going out, the drinking, you know, or like going up to females. You know, we're not doing that content today. Today we're doing, um, we're gonna sit down and talk for a little bit about mindsets and uh, just where I'm at, you know what I'm saying, where my mindset's at and uh, just where I wanna be, you know what I'm saying? And um, I have a special guest uh, standing to my on? left, sitting to my left. Sorry. Go ahead, introduce yourself. What's going on, it's your boy Bryce here. You know how it is. So out here, just uh, another human being. Uh, a couple years of experience. So, the reason why I'm making this video is just to show y'all like where I want to be at in life and I want y'all to know me, you know what I'm saying? Because YouTube is like a family. Right. So I will want y'all to know like the real me, and, like my personality, you know what I'm saying? Like, what do I do for fun? And you know what I'm saying? Just get to know me better. At what age do you think you're considered a man? Do you think it's an age or off of um, life experience? I feel like it's a life experience. To be honest, uh, because just, I don't know, people have different life situations, you know what I'm saying? And some people are forced to grow up. Yeah, some people are forced to grow up at a young age and yeah. they just have to grow up. Just skip their childhood. Yeah, I know. You know, I like to think, like, we all out here winging it, you know what I'm saying? Nobody has it figured out. Yeah. We all, help, we all out here winging it. But sometimes it's like, you know, we try to be so, we, we get so hard on ourselves. Yeah, that is it's true. Perfect, just perfection, but it's it's not easy. It's really not. But I think we weren't built to isolate. You know, we we're built for community. You know, all the times that we do feel bad, it's probably because we're chilling in our room, isolated. Yeah, and that's a lot. Like you know that's just, that's a lot of this generation. For real? A lot of this generation is about technology. You know what I'm saying? I can't lie. I use a lot of technology. You know, my mind that's is chewed up with technology. Same, bro. Uh, but I'm getting there, I'm getting better at not, you know what I'm saying, using my, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying, technology as much. I'm going outside more. Exactly. Just like right now, bro. You know, um, just working out, going to the gym. I've been going to the gym actually yeah. a lot. Lately, it's just been, I don't know, it just it, it helps a lot with my mind. Because a lot of times I be stressed out. I don't know if y'all know it, but, uh, you know, I'm a human just like y'all. Everyone goes through the same problems. Not to, probably not the same, but... Everyone goes through problems. We all got the same emotions at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, yeah, bro, I just, just like, editing videos, bro. Like, when I edit a video for y'all, it's not, like, I don't just go on my phone and just edit it real quick. You know what I'm saying? I have to actually sit down. You put and that love into it. I yeah, mean, like, I want hours. the video to be cool. Yeah. It takes about, I say about two to three hours just to edit one video, depending how long the video is. But, but um, to touch on that with the technology, like ever since COVID, that kind of disconnected everybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying that's kind of that was four years ago. I think that's where a lot of problems have been rooted from. But low key, a comeback has been made collectively. You, you feel like I feel like some people, there's a group of people that are, are going down the wrong path, mm -hmm. but there's also a, a group that's going with that good path. I feel like we're in that group. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know, bro. Like. With this, um, like with this YouTube stuff, you know, I've been trying. Like, you can, yeah. you can see, I've been trying. If you go to the, the receipts, like, just the literally receipts, this bro. whole week, there's been uploads back to back to back, and this is a new, brand new week. But I don't even look at it like that. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I just look at it as a, a new upload. Just, I'm just trying to, you know what I'm saying? Just start. I'm trying to start a career out of this stuff. Cause this something I do like enjoy. I like I enjoy making it's a videos. Passion, bro. Yeah, like I, I enjoy making videos. Like it's not something I don't want to do. It's not something I'm forcing myself to do. You know what I'm saying? Just because of the money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I actually like making videos and it becomes addicting, like I said, remember? Yeah. It's like once you make a couple videos, you like, man, I need to make some more. Facts. Yeah, bro. I was like, like the thing with me is like, uh, I told you this the other day. Uh, I dropped the video and the next day I was like, or like, Right after I dropped it, I was just like thinking to myself, like, damn, I need to find out another idea. To, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It just gets um, you on that, that purpose driven kind of mindset. I have a question for you. What's up, brother? 
So, where is your mindset at right now? Right now, my mindset. <clears throat> see, I'm, a, I'm an optimist, right? Yeah. I like to see the silver liners, the bright, the bright side to everything. And that's a. Uh, see, my mindset isn't thinking about what could go wrong. I'm always thinking about what could go right. Mm -hmm. and sometimes. You know, of course, recently I've been going through a lot of tri uh, trials and tribulations and challenges. Yeah. But uh, just the way I approach it, the way you manage stress, it all starts up here first in the mind. Like, and the really, like, meditation, bro. And, like, actually reading the Bible, like, uh, Proverbs, Romans, like, learning it, like, deep down, getting into it. That's what forms my mind. To think about long term because we don't suffer. We don't suffer. We don't have days where we get a call that our mama died. You know what I'm saying? We don't have those moments. So the truth hurts, but it, it sets you free. If you, if you try to avoid the truth, it's only going to make it worse, man. You can't. So I, I try to, I try to force, right now I'm trying to force myself to do the hardship. Do, uh, yeah, I mean, cold bro, showers, push yeah. up, all the all the kind of stuff that nobody wants to really do. So right now, what I'm getting off that yeah. is you trying to better yourself, yeah. working on yourself. You know what I'm saying so you're trying to be at your fullest potential. You're just working it you know, yeah. day by day. And I'm trying to I'm trying to get out on my show with the music. Yeah. Cause I, I have a gift for music, and, I, and I song, mm -hmm. I'm a really good songwriter, and you know this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And. Wrong, but I'm a, I'm a perfectionist. Actually, you are. You're actually are. Same here, bro. And that's why. Good. That's why we. I noticed that. Yeah. I noticed that you're good with putting lyrics together. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate like, that. You sit down and. You know what I'm saying? If I, and that's that's where that my that's my therapy. That's my creativity. Yeah. But when it comes to delivery or putting on a, a song or something, or, that's where I need to focus my water water those those plants in my garden. You already know how to. Uh, you already know how to. Start it up. Yeah, not just exactly. Deliver. Exactly. So it's like you can read you can read a hundred books on how to work out, but you still got to go out to the gym mm -hmm. and work out. You got to put in the work. So it's like it's all about action at the end of the day. Yeah. Moving. The more you're and, and not dictating off how you're feeling, but it's like because you ain't gonna feel like you want to go to the gym. You ain't gonna feel like you want to make yeah, a do something. But that's where discipline and the system comes in. And what I have learned is like success is hidden in the daily routine. It's all about the, if you win the morning, you don't win the day. You win the day, you win the week, you win the week, you win the month. You win the month, you win the year, you win the year, you win the life. It's a long time, but it all starts with those daily decisions. It's like a it's daily ritual, you know? Yeah. Focusing on God, too. That's the big That's, thing. You know, you put God in your life. It plays a big part in your life. It's I don't know if you know it or not, but... Like instead of waking up, you can start small. Start by doing little things. When you wake up, don't get on your phone. Just wake up, pray. Quick pray. Take a big deep breath and just be grateful. That you're still living. Like you woke up. You know what I'm saying? Because literally, we can die right now. Tomorrow on the way home. Literally. This can, like this video, like you, someone, we could die on the way home. And brother and family member could see this video and put it up. And I called it. You know what I'm saying? So like, exactly. like this is my last video. You know what I'm saying? Just... Just we po we post it right after there. this, bro. We are posting it right now. We ain't even editing it. <laughs> <laughs> Raw footage. Bro, that's how we do it. You know how many videos that po uh, pop up on my like my YouTube algorithm just like this? They ain't editing. It's just they're like they're just cool. following the spirit, bro. <laughs> well, how are you? Like, what are you? How are you relationship-wise? Like, like, what are you? What, are you looking? Are you looking for me? Like, see, uh. I'm in a single season myself. Yeah. Uh, me personally, like the past three years, I personally been celibate. You know this. Yeah. Uh, that has changed my whole life. Uh, being not dependent on another female or chasing girls like that. Yeah. So that's kind of where I'm at. I'm not chasing nothing really, just let things attract. And yeah, I, I'm not looking for nothing really. But of course, I do want some love. But I need to give myself that love first. I need to become the person I want. And then eventually. Alright, I got a question. There. So let's say a girl that like you say you're not, you know what I'm saying, you're not looking for love right now. Mm -hmm. hey, you start talking to a girl and you know y'all hit it off. Like uh, vibing, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And then and then like 
she, that she wants, like she wants you, you want her, but what are, what are you doing in that situation? At my past self, I would take any attention from a girl and be like, all right, this is the one, this is the one I'm gonna marry, I'm gonna put her on the pedestal, right? Like, yeah, I, I feel that. Yeah. That's, how, yeah. that's how I feel. For real. But that's now, I, I, I looked at a girl as another human being, you know, like, I, I wanna, I wanna get to know her first, her ins and outs. I wanna know the stuff she likes yeah. on a deal. You know, like I wanna know yeah. what triggers her. I wanna know stuff like that. So like before I could ever settle again, I would have to, I would have to become best friends with the girl first. I wouldn't, I, I couldn't go straight into a talking stage or anything like that. That's all just childish to me. I feel like if it, if a, a long term thing. Like, Cause you never know who could come into your life too. You know what I'm saying? So if you settle right now with someone and this another girl comes to your life, you can and you're like, oh man, I should have her. But you can always have that mindset. There's always gonna be a better girl, there's always gonna be better. But it's all about fight, finding someone that's worth fighting for, in my opinion. But it's like if you're out there trying to chase or force it, then that ain't true love. Love is patient, love is kind. You know, it's like what about you though? It was a. Uh, Am I looking for some? Yeah, yeah. What's your, uh, what's your love life like? Currently, right now, um, I look at it like, with me, bro, I take everything as signs, bro. I don't know why. It's just, I, you know, what I'm saying it's just something I always like. How I grew up. I no, actually, I didn't grow up on it. Mm. I'm not gonna lie. You grew into it. I grew into it. Like some yeah. just been like recently. I don't know. I feel like I just grew up and matured, and my mindset got. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. And I just see everything different. Right. Yeah. So, um, if anything happened with a girl, with me, with a bro, I just I take it as a sign. You know what I'm saying? Because to me, like things gonna happen for a reason. Mm. That's how I take everything. Mm. Bro. I, I think that way too. Cause like, if y'all don't know, um, I just got done recently from a breakup. Um, what's it called? And uh, <laughs> this, what's it called? Uh, what's it going through? But he good now. Yeah, he good. yeah. He I've been, good. I've been, good. you know what I'm saying? I've, I've been going through it. Um, I'm not gonna lie, but so when y'all see me smiling behind the camera. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you will never know when someone has to go and do things. You don't know what someone's going through ever. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I've been um, I've been going through it, and um, but I've been getting better though. I ain't gonna lie, I've been literally. They all thanks to Bryce right here. You hey, know what I'm saying? Thanks to God, bro. Hey, I'm just one of his sons. Thanks to I'm Bryce just... and God, bro. Like Bryce. literally, Bryce is literally like me and Bryce talk call every morning, bro. And just you know, we'll just Pop give each other advice, bro. Like every single morning, and just like, that's how what you we're feeling, made for too. Feeling. That's what, you know what we're saying? made for. Yeah, but I'm that's what like good friends do, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like call each other all the time and just make sure everybody's straight, you know what I'm saying? How you feeling? Mindset's good. But yeah. Basically, um, yeah, I've been doing good. I ain't gonna What's that, I ain't gonna <laughs> Oh shit. What's it called? I'm helping, I ain't gonna lie. I'm I'm gonna like, talk I should to have someone. like a gong or something in the background. Just right. like, I got one, I, I got one, bro. I should bring it. I'm healed. I'm not gonna lie, I'm li literally I'm like I don't hey think about her. I'm not gonna lie, actually, I barely think about her now. Uh, yeah, compared to like a couple weeks ago where your yeah, mindset's bro, now, you, you like, you've you grown I'm not so gonna lie, bro, that's any, for any relationship, like, for when you break up with the girl you love, um, you know what I'm saying, she's all, she, you know what I'm saying, she's gonna be going through your head all day, 24-7. Like, go to sleep, um, you wake up, you know what I'm saying, but now, now that you got in the gym, and you been doing I've been videos, doing a lot of things been, better and shit, yeah. and making the music. I like literally, I don't think about it at all, bro. So, I mean, it's a, I mean, I still want her to do good in life. You know what I'm saying? Always. I, I don't like, I don't pray for none, no negative for no way. But you know everybody gets to eat, but not at our table. Mm. How do y'all feel about that? What? Everybody gets to eat, but not at our table. We want everybody to eat, but it ain't always gonna be at our table. There's enough pie out there right for everyone. Right you know what I'm saying? Everybody can eat at our table. <laughs> he's gonna put this. He's gonna post a picture tonight. Caption, put that shit caption. on his caption. He's gonna get a tattoo. Show his tat. He's gonna get a tattoo. Everybody can eat. <laughs> hey, y'all got any? Y'all got any? Our table. Hey, I don't want to join the video. Y'all got some golden nuggets of wisdom. Yeah, bro. We, we better close this video up. Facts. So anything y'all gotta say, bro? Like real quick. This could be the in. last video. Y'all could go. Y'all could die on the way home. So Sit behind me. Put something in. Very true.
Listen. Love, love your family. Love your people. Bro. Listen. And love yourself. Love. Life is unexpected. Death is certain. Yeah. But moments will last forever. Amen. 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 So Amen. make the most out of life. Ooh, and do what you gotta do. Do what you love. Do what you do what you want, bro. Cause at the end of the day, bro, shit, you don't know when you're gonna die. So it's like uh, live your best life before that happens. Amen. This video at all. all right, man. But uh, basically, bro, the purpose of the video is we just trying to get on here and just you know spread good energy. You feel right. me? And just like mm. show y'all the truth of where our mindsets are at. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Just give you know brother to brother, the brother to brother to brother right. advice. You feel me? And to any sisters out there. Facts. Um, but <laughs> if to the channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? You're going to see Jaden right here. He's going to post a, a basketball video. We recorded some content for his channel. So he should be putting that up soon. You know what I'm saying? i leave his shit in the uh, description. But uh, <laughs> uh, anything y'all want to say before we close it out? <clears throat> uh, video on my channel ain't going to be that long because my fucking sword ran out. Mm. <laughs> I, got, I got something to say. You have the life that you're willing to put up with. Everything that's everything that's happened to you is part of your fault somehow. So take responsibility, take accountability over your life. Ain't nobody gonna come save you, bro. You gotta wake up and be a man and do the shit you need to do. We out. Be a provider. Love yourself and love God. We out. Peace and love. Peace and love, y'all. Bye. <laughs> Let's go, Michi. That's your turn right now. Ever since I seen you at that party, I know you were the one I wanted.